clap. Thank you guys. What is this event? What is this event? Well, this event is a rally to highlight the issues around climate change and to, to pull people together from various organisations. We're here from Socialist Appeal. Uh, obviously, we support uh, any event that is raising the issue, but we really clearly say that it's not enough just to uh, ask the capitalists to be nicer to sort out the issues around climate change. What is this event? Uh, so this event is from Extinction Rebellion and in general terms we're protesting against the climate and ecological emergency. And this Bristol group today, they've got three demands here. Stopping the airport expansion. Bristol Airport is far too big already. You do not need it any bigger. Why should we stop the airport expansion? Because flying is one of the worst polluters, you know, pumping all the CO2 into the atmosphere. I'm sure you've already heard CO2 in the atmosphere increases the global temperature. We have fires like we just had. I mean, in England, 60 houses burning down with wildfires last week. I mean, it's incredible. And that's going to happen more and more frequently. So what is the difference between a capitalist system and a socialist system? Yeah, well, the capitalist system is based around profit to get a return on the capital invested. The thing is, with the, the way capitalism has developed, it's, it's not about appealing to individual factory owners, please, uh, please introduce some green measures to make your factory less polluting. Public ownership of public transport. Hopefully you came here by public transport today, sir. So that's fantastic. I, you know, that's what we want more people to shift. Well, again, think about it. Do you really want your fare to go to paying some rich banker or would you rather it being invested in the public transport? So at the moment, the government several years ago sold off all the public transport. The profits go to the shareholders. Mm. We think that they should be going, being reinvested in the public transport for the greater good. It's in crisis. It cannot sort these problems of climate change out. It is it's just against the whole mechanism of how it works. A socialism, on the other hand, uh, with workers' control, uh, we believe in that the, the main, uh, the top companies need to be appropriated from the ruling class and put under workers' control. But with fair fares for everyone. Because it's critically important that everybody can afford to use public transport. If you have my way, public transport will be free, like they've done in Germany or Spain. That encourages everybody to use it and stops this kind of them and us attitude between people who think it's beneath them to use public transport and everybody else. So you're saying that in today's system, yeah. the, the lack of... The people who are in control or the people who make decisions are making wrong choices. Whilst you propose in a socialist system, it'd be better choices because the people who control them would simply make better choices. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think that as a, as a sort of basic summary, yeah, that, that okay. stands. But what you are, you are personalising it. You are, you are suggesting, I would, I would say, is that you're suggesting that it's some, you know, that it's people making choices. Whereas I would say it's capitalism has, um, the way a monopoly uh, capitalism has developed is that it's almost like the, as I said, the algorithm of, of capitalism. I mean, look at the whole stocks and shares market. You know, it's, it's digital and reacts to, you know, when, when the prices. Uh, drop the shares prices drop you know automatically there's a there's a bear run so how do you propose we stop airport em uh, emission stop uh, how to do public ownership and have fair fares how uh, that's where a uh, group such as extinction rebellion and others uh, work to put pressure on company on the government and corporations uh, basically to change what they're doing you know to change the legislation to change the systems and structures in which we have to operate and so how will you change it how will you change it? How do you achieve it? How do you change it? You really need to change the system. You change it by getting enough people on the streets proving to the government that there's enough groundswell of opinion and that this needs to happen and needs to change. And would you say it's going towards this direction, the, the vision of achieving this goal? Are you on the I way? I would say it's a very long road. For me, we're not moving fast enough. We've wasted the last 40 years. If we'd done the changes we need to make 40 years ago, it'd be a lot less painful. Now we've got a few years left to make the changes, so it's going to be very painful, very uncomfortable to everyone. I'd say it's moving in the right direction. 
uh, last time I looked, over 80%, I think it was 85% of the British public, agree that human-caused climate change is a top priority and needs to dressing. So that, to me, is progress that's happened in the last three years or so. Thank you very much. Thank that's you. all. Lovely. Done. Thank you very much. It's been a great interview. You've been Thank fantastic. You. Cool. This event, I think, had three main points. The first was to not expand Bristol's airport. Why? Because it was bad for the environment. Second, it was to nationalize utility companies. Why? Because they say it will lower the prices that they currently are at. And the third one was to make public transportation free because it'd be better for the people. How will they achieve all of these things is they need to gather as much support as possible. How they're doing that is they're going around screaming their opinions and hope that people listen and understand where they're coming from. And I kind of understand where they're coming from today. I understand they're trying to help people. They're trying to make life better for people. But I still need to do more uh, understanding and more research because I'm still not completely sold on the ideas. And that pretty much summarized the event. Uh, their goals in the future is to gather more people. As we saw, today's turnout was nowhere near enough uh, to be the majority of the people. But when that day happens, we'll see. Thank you very much. Goodbye.